Tevin Campbell, introduced at the age of 12 on Quincy Jones's 1989 album, Back on the Block, swiftly rose to prominence on the Billboard charts through a subsequent solo career. Marketed as a teenage heartthrob, he seemed destined for international stardom. However, behind the scenes, the Grammy-nominated singer faced a downward spiral in his life. An embarrassing arrest further marred his image, prompting him to make the difficult decision to step away from the industry. The trajectory of Tevin Campbell's career took an unexpected turn. Tevin grew up singing in a gospel choir in Waxahachie, Texas. However, the narrative took a significant turn when his mother, Rhonda, herself a respected gospel singer, envisioned a solo path for her son. Tevin, reflecting on his past, acknowledged to the LA Times that it was his mother's encouragement that propelled him out of the background, stating, without her pushing, I'd still be in the background. With Rhonda's determination and the assistance of mutual friends, Tevin found himself auditioning for jazz performer Bobby Humphrey over the phone. Bobby, impressed by his talent, orchestrated a showcase in New York. A pivotal moment arose when Michael Jackson caught wind of Tevin's performance, leading to a lunch invitation at Neverland Ranch for Tevin, his mother, and his brother. Despite Michael's interest, a record deal never materialized. Undeterred, Tevin's journey continued with Bobby as his manager, securing him a significant role on Wally, filling in for the Valentine's singer Saida Garrett, who was impressed by Tevin's performance and vocal potential. The turning point in Tevin's career unfolded when record executive Benny Medina suggested that Quincy Jones utilize Tevin's vocals for an upcoming album. After hearing Tevin sing, Quincy, a legendary figure in the music industry, recognized his talent and promptly signed him to his Quest record label. Quincy's belief in Tevin's potential was evident as he remarked in an interview, I've seen Michael Jackson at 12 and Stevie Wonder at 12. Tevin could be just as big a star. To pursue this newfound potential, Tevin, along with his mother and siblings, bid farewell to Texas, establishing themselves in Encino, California. This relocation marked the beginning of Tevin Campbell's immersion into the competitive music industry, setting the stage for a career that would navigate both peaks and valleys. Tevin Campbell's ascent in the music industry continued as Quincy Jones, recognizing his vocal prowess, enlisted him to sing lead on the track, Tomorrow, for the 1989, Back on the Block, album. The collaborative effort swiftly claimed the top spot on Billboard's R&B chart, affirming Tevin's arrival on the musical scene. The subsequent chapter in Tevin's career unfolded with the release of his own album, simply titled, Tevin, in 1991. This debut venture achieved platinum status, propelled by hit songs such as, Tell Me What You Want Me To Do, and Alone With You. Tevin's popularity surged, drawing attention from industry luminaries. Collaborative opportunities abounded, with notable contributions to the soundtrack of Prince's film, Graffiti Bridge, and a guest appearance on, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. However, the glamour of the industry exposed Tevin, then a 14-year-old, to a world beyond his years. He revealed to I Missed the Old School website that he began mingling with older individuals in the industry, attending house parties despite lacking a driver's license. The allure of this newfound lifestyle led to early encounters with alcohol, and Tevin hinted at a darker side in a 1991 interview with the LA Times, confessing, I've done some bad things, things I can't and won't talk about. Balancing the demands of a high school education at a private San Fernando Valley institution with the obligations of a recording contract became a formidable task. Tevin's ambition, as expressed to the LA Times, was clear. He aspired to surpass even Michael Jackson's stardom. His desires extended beyond fame, encompassing a craving for power, money, and opportunities with the opposite sex. Quincy Jones, recognizing Tevin's potential, assembled a formidable team of producers and songwriters, including luminaries like Prince, Babyface, and Johnny Gill, for Tevin's 1993 sophomore album, I'm Ready. Tevin Campbell, while still in his teenage years, found himself under the mentorship of the legendary Prince, who saw potential in the young star's ability to explore a more mature sound. This collaboration resulted in the creation of Shish, a song with suggestive lyrics like, I'd rather do you after school like some homework. The unexpected shift in content, coupled with Tevin's distinctive growls, took his fans by surprise, as he admitted to Vibe magazine that the recording process was notably uncomfortable. To facilitate Tevin's immersion in the creative process, recording sessions for Shish became an intimate affair, the studio cleared, lights extinguished, and curtains drawn. Despite the provocative nature of Shish, 
the track was never officially released as a single. Fans eager to experience the risque lyrics had to invest in the entire album. Yet, amid the experimental venture, the lead track, I'm Ready, resonated with audiences, securing a commendable position at number 9 on the Billboard chart. Tevin continued to make his mark with successive hits like, Can We Talk, and Always In My Heart, earning him three Grammy nominations as a testament to his dedication and talent. In 1996, Tevin made a return with the album, Back to the World, produced by Puff Daddy. Regrettably, the album fell short of expectations, barely reaching number 11 on the Billboard Top R&B Albums chart. Undeterred by this setback, Tevin persisted. In February 1999, he unveiled a self-titled Neo Soul project featuring collaborations with Wyclef John, Faith Evans, and Coco of SWV. Despite the star-studded lineup, the album faced challenges and landed at number 31 on the Billboard chart. Reflecting on this tumultuous period in an interview, Tevin expressed his bewilderment at the declining quality of his albums. Having experienced immense success as a child, the abrupt shift in his early 20s proved to be dramatic and disconcerting. Faced with the unraveling of his once promising career, Tevin acknowledged the necessity of stepping away from the industry, even if it meant navigating a period of rebellion. In a dramatic turn of events, nine months following the release of his fourth self-titled album, Tevin Campbell found himself entangled in a series of legal and personal challenges. While driving around the San Fernando Valley under the influence, he became involved in an incident that would make headlines. Tevin reportedly drove to Van Nuys Elementary School, where he unwittingly solicited an undercover policeman during a sting operation, as reported by the Associated Press. This misstep led to legal consequences for the Grammy-nominated artist. Tevin was incarcerated and mandated to attend Narcotics Anonymous meetings and an AIDS awareness class. Additionally, he faced a fine of $1,080 for the misdemeanor conviction, having pleaded no contest to the charges. Speaking candidly on the I Missed the Old School website, Tevin revealed that he was using multiple substances during the incident, emphasizing that the gender of the involved officer played no role in his actions. Unfazed by the ensuing speculation and rumors, he expressed a resolute indifference to public opinion. What might surprise many of his fans is that this incident marked just one chapter in Tevin's tumultuous journey. He disclosed that he faced further legal troubles, experiencing a return to incarceration for engaging in what he described as, really bad stuff, incidents that largely went unnoticed by the media. In a 2003 interview with Sister to Sister magazine, Tevin addressed rumors about his sexuality, denying being gay but reportedly admitting to being a freak when questioned about his preferences. Amidst these challenges, Tevin hinted at a semblance of a comeback in 2005 when he took on the role of Seaweed J. Stubbs in the Broadway musical, Hairspray. Describing the experience as the greatest three years of his life, Tevin suggested a period of personal and professional rejuvenation. Tevin Campbell's musical journey took an intriguing twist in May 2008 when he unveiled an internet album titled, 2008 Never Before Heard, through Rainbow House Media. However, after six months, Tevin made the unexpected decision to retract the material from online platforms. The artist briefly re-emerged onto the public stage at the 2009 BED Awards, sparking anticipation among fans for a potential comeback album. Yet, in the same year, Tevin asserted in an interview that he harbored no interest in signing another record contract. Stating unequivocally, the music industry is really not the place for me to be right now. As time passed, Tevin seemingly retreated from the public eye, leaving fans wondering about his musical future. It wasn't until 2014 that a shift occurred in his perspective on recording contracts. Tevin signed with Spectrum Music Group, reigniting hopes of a forthcoming album. In a 2016 interview with Jet Magazine, he discussed the release of his song, Safer on the Ground, and enthusiastically announced its inclusion in his fifth studio album. However, as of the latest available information, the album remains unreleased, leaving fans in suspense. Tevin's career saw another noteworthy moment in 2019 when he secured a guest role in the fourth season of the own series, Queen Sugar. This marked a positive resurgence for Tevin, and his name once again trended in the media, this time for all the right reasons. Dear my audience, are you interested in where he is now? Join us to admire his house now. Mansion in California, Tevin Campbell's residence in Los Angeles, California, situated in the coveted Hollywood Hills area. Beyond the stunning views of the city and the expansive landscape, 
The residence boasts spacious bedrooms and well-appointed bathrooms, ensuring a stay that is not only comfortable but also immensely enjoyable. This exceptional home caters to various needs, whether you're seeking an escape from the mundane or aiming to create lasting memories with family and friends. The Tevin Campbell House stands as a haven of sophistication, equipped with state-of-the-art appliances, a comprehensive security system, and an open floor plan designed for both functionality and aesthetic appeal. The living room, a focal point of this lavish residence, unfolds as a welcoming space for entertaining guests. Large sofas are strategically arranged around a beautiful gas fireplace, creating an atmosphere of warmth and intimacy. Rustic wood paneling on one side adds a touch of timeless elegance, complemented by built-in shelves that offer both practical storage solutions and contribute to the room's overall aesthetic. The thoughtful design extends to include a flat-screen TV mounted above the fireplace, providing a cozy spot for guests to enjoy their favorite shows or movies, especially during the colder months. The kitchen fully equipped with top-tier amenities expected from a high-end residence. Stainless steel refrigerators, dishwashers, and ovens complement granite countertops, creating a space that caters to the needs of any chef. Ample storage, including cabinets and pantries, ensures a seamless cooking experience. The outdoor space at Tevin Campbell House is expansive, providing an ideal setting for entertaining guests. A generous deck and patio area offer a comfortable space to enjoy the breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. Whether hosting a barbecue or basking in the sun, the outdoor amenities make this residence versatile for various activities. Built in 1992 by the renowned architectural firm Jonathan Adler Homes Inc., Tevin Campbell House spans 7,500 square feet over three floors. Embodying five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and generously proportioned living, kitchen, and dining areas. The residence also boasts a swimming pool, spa, garden, private terrace, and a recording studio adding both luxury and functionality to its design. The recording studio, equipped with professional-grade equipment, adds a unique dimension to Tevin Campbell House, making it an ideal space for the artist to create his music. Beyond its architectural grandeur and scenic views, the residence stands as a testament to the seamless integration of design, functionality, and artistic expression, creating a haven for Tevin Campbell and his family. Tevin, once a child star with aspirations of a lasting presence in the music industry, now recognizes that distancing himself from the music business was pivotal for his well-being. Taking a step back and immersing himself in family life allowed him to successfully overcome his struggles with substance abuse. Despite his absence from the industry, Tevin's musical legacy is destined to be celebrated across generations. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.